Hi, this is Tim with Diesel Laptops. Today we're going to show you the Texa DC5 software on 2018 Polaris Sportsman 850. Uh, so we're going to go into the software and we'll hit S to get to the S's and we'll scroll down. You can see there's a lot of models in here that Texa has included in the software. Um, so I'll be under the UTV, ATV, or UTV quad selection. And we'll select Sportsman 850. I'm going into that gas injection or engine module. We'll hit the connector and you see that cable uh, AP45 and the connector was found under the front hood of that uh, specific bike. So we're going to go ahead and make sure the ignition is on. and go ahead and log in. Uh, you'll see there's new fault codes on this bike. Go ahead and check out the parameters. Scroll through, make a couple graphs. Um, you'll see that there's a little bit of movement. The engine's on. So look at the cylinder injection time. And just double click on that and see the graph of that injection time and to close it out you're just going to double click again and go ahead and scroll down okay you'll see us uh, throttle position moving a little bit you'll see that engine load is going to increase engine temperature is getting a little warmer um, and you double click on the throttle position, you can see that graph. Okay, we'll click out of that. Just scroll down and see the rest of the parameters. You see vehicle speed, throttle position sensor, engine speed. There's your map sensor and your intake temp sensor. Okay, so your status is we're going to see your gear changes and your switches. Um, we'll go ahead and change the gear couple times here. Um, we'll also use that all-wheel drive switch. We'll go ahead and do that. So you'll see these uh, a couple of these changing as we go through them. Here you see your information, all your activations you can do on the engine. Okay. Okay, so we'll close out of this, and I want to go into the instrument panel, just so you can see that. It'll take a second. Okay, so we'll select the instrument panel. You're going to be using the same connector, and we'll go into it that way. This specific bike did not have the EPS system in it, so we're not going to go into that system. Okay, we'll confirm, make sure ignition on. There's your odometer. Your status, you'll see the gear switch. Okay, and we'll go into ECU information. I'm going to just scroll through that real quick. Okay, so we'll close out of that. And we'll go ahead and hit the special functions, and this is where you're going to see your vehicle use history. It's going to be the same cable once again. And um, we'll go ahead into this and let you see this. Okay, ignition still on, so we're going to hit confirm. There's your fault codes, your ECU information. And then we'll go into activations. This is where you're going to get your historical data reading right here. So you hit confirm, we'll go through. You want to hit your up and down arrows to go through it. So here you have your engine RPM history. You hit your arrow up. It's going to go into your throttle position sensor history. Let's go through that. Hit your up arrow again. It's going to give you your vehicle history. Okay, so that's what it's going to go through. You hit confirm and it's going to take you back to that other menu. Okay, so this is Tim. With these laptops, this is a 2018 Polaris Sportsman 850. Thanks for watching.